Hey there Seahawks, it's Miss Adams, and in this video we're going to talk about histograms, which is another display for quantitative data. Alright, a histogram shows each interval as a bar. The heights of the bars show the frequencies or relative frequencies of each value in each interval. Histograms are most useful with large data sets. Intervals are sometimes called bins, classes, or buckets. All right, so this is the same data set as a dot plot and then as a histogram. So we have um, our dot plot in picture A, and then we went ahead and like those dotted lines, we're kind of putting them into bins or buckets. And so all the dots that fall in from zero to five make up that first bucket from uh, or probably zero to four, five to 10. Um, and then we draw a bar um, for all of them in that bucket, the frequency of that entire bucket to make our histogram. All right, so making and interpreting a histogram. Ancient Egyptian embalming techniques and the climate in Egypt can preserve bodies of the dead remarkably well. Researchers made measurements of 30 Egyptian male skulls that date from about 4000 BCE. One variable they recorded was the maximum width of the skull in millimeters shown in the table. Make a frequency histogram of these data. Use the intervals of width with five millimeters beginning at 115. All right, so um, I'm gonna set up my intervals and then my frequencies. So I'm gonna start at 115, so I'm gonna go 115 to less than 120. So 115 to 119.99999. All right, 120 to less than 125, 125 to less than 130, 130 to less than 135, 135 to less than 140, 140 to less than 145, and then I'm going to count how many I have in each of those sections. So 115, 116, 117, 118, and 119 in that um, bin of five, I have only one value, okay? And so then I'm going to set up my histogram my axes so number of skulls I'm gonna count by ones uh, and then skull width in millimeters I'm gonna count by fives starting at 115 so 115 up to 145 and so my first bin I had only one and my next one I had only one then I had eight then I had 12 then I had seven and then I had one and you do want to try to keep the the size of the bars as close to the same as possible. All right, describe the distribution of ancient Egyptian skull widths. All right, so we're going to describe the distribution using sex, shape, unusual features, center, spread. So shape is roughly symmetric. Um, uh, there was no apparent outliers, nothing obvious. Um, median falls in the interval from 130 to 135. And the widths range from 119 millimeters to 141 millimeters. All right, go Seahawks.